and Sustainable Development. Good morning, Dr. Gibril. Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Gibril, how important are the projects Egypt is carrying out at a number of African countries and the role of these projects in boosting the developmental process inside the region? Well, as you say, our role is taking it is taking an important role because especially when you see the training, it is given the African youth. Although Egypt is one of the biggest countries, who is a country that most of the African youth are studying here, because as you see. Each, each Egyptian university you go, you will find Africans. And uh, most of them are taking a training from the Egyptian government. So Egypt is taking an important role for mm. the development of uh, Africa. Right. How do you see the message sent by Egypt's keenness to achieve the economic integration in Africa, sir? Uh, well, concerning the issue of the economy, I think the the economy should has to be uh, free trade, free mm. trade, which I mean the government is doing her best to ensure about that. So, if the free free trade is ensured, the economy will be boosted. I'm sure that is right. Also, we need to talk about the efforts exerted by Egypt to, to boost or enforce and empower the exchange trade with the countries of the continent in the sense of uh, uh, coping or exchanging expertise, exchanging uh, the markets, and also uh, trying to establish a foundation for economic development. Uh, well... If you see the economic development, as I have said earlier, mm. the, 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 the trade needs to be a free trade. Because, for example, you could find a product here in Egypt. You can buy it with uh, $10. And if you go mm. to another country, you could find it $20. You could find it in uh, another country more than that. So... This specifically need to be one price because most of the African youth are, are suffering from this uh, expensive because so the trade need to be one price in order to ensure the development of our economy in general. This is what I would like to comment about. Right. We all know that the African continent is full of resources. It has very rich resources, and so is Egypt also. Uh, so um, how can we make the best uh, benefit out of these uh, resources in Egypt and brotherly countries and uh, try to establish industries that would develop our economic uh, power? Uh, well, we need uh, to educate ourselves, to be frank. Because yes. uh, we have many resources here in Africa, as you just said, but unfortunately we do not know how to use them. We don't know how to provide our mm. natural resources. We could, for example, if you see in Africa, we have mm. petroleum, we have cotton, we have uh, uranium, we have aluminum, we have everything in Africa. Mm. But we don't know how to provide them. We sell them to European countries and they try to change it and they get it back to Africa with expensive price. So we need more education. We need to educate ourselves because we are suffering from lack of education and others. So that is how to use our natural resources. Right. Education is a very important process and so is other uh, elements like uh, empowering okay. our come again okay. it's uh, hello yes yes uh, mr gibril were you saying something of course you can go ahead what was yeah, that uh, uh, I, I, I was talking about the the, the education itself the education mm. is the main important thing that we could use to provide our national resources Mm. We, are, we are having them variously 
here in Nigeria, in Niger, in Egypt, in each Egyptian in part of the in each African country. Mm. But education, education is the key to such thing. That's very much true. Uh, Mr. Gabriel, how important is it to uh, develop mechanisms of joint action between Egypt and brotherly countries? You were talking about expertise, about uh, affecting uh, the concern of empowering education, about uh, improving our health, about uh, giving job opportunities uh, uh, to uh, uh, people and citizens. Uh, these things, how important of in general, uh, uh, developing the mechanisms of joint action between countries? Well, the main importance of such thing is it is creating a brotherhood between Egypt and uh, many countries in general and African countries in particular. Yes. And it is also making the African youth and Egyptian need to ensure that they are all African. It is creating African blood. This making this uh, job opportunity because if you go to another ministries here in Egypt, each ministry or each administration, you could find many Africans are working there. So this is making a great opportunity, of course, to ensure about this uh, uh, brotherhood be in one Africa because we are all human we are all Africans mm. as you see that Egypt have taken a leap in infrastructural projects in uh, technology in health in education and so many fronts so uh, how do you think the brotherly countries in Africa could make the best use of uh, the Egyptian expertise and in general the exchange of expertise between countries how important is it, and is, is it being affected uh, the best way it's supposed to be? Yes, it is very important, especially mm. this infrastructure, as you just uh, mentioned, because if the, the country is, uh, is good in infrastructure, in the future it could be a center of uh, tourism, not only in Africa, in world in general. It could be a center of tourism within within 2030. So this infrastructure is very good, of course. Mm. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim Gibril Alewa, you are a Vice President, Arab African Council for Integration and Sustainable Development. We would like to thank you so much and the best of luck to you, sir. Thank you so much. And I guess with this uh, final item, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show. And many thanks to all of you. My name is Dina Hussain. And until uh, we meet again tomorrow morning with another a new edition and a new crew, that's a goodbye.